Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let me show you in this tutorial how to solve the little question number 62. Unique pass. And guys, just to let you know, this question has been asked by Amazon in the past. So, if in one day you want to get to the Amazon, make sure you watch this video until the end. Okie dokie, so what do we need to do here, basically? We are given the grid of size m by n, and on this grid we have a robot. This robot always starts at the top left corner, and he wants to reach the bottom right corner, because there is a finish. This robot can move only to the right or down, and we, and we need to say how many possible unique paths there are, so that the robot can reach the finish. In the first example they give us, the output will be 28 unique paths, if we have the grid 3 by 7 But however guys, to not confuse ourselves, let's just consider for now a smaller example. 3 by 2 grid. I prepared the image for that. Let's think about it. How many unique paths there are, let's say, not to reach the finish, but to reach, let's say, the point here. And because the robot can move only down or to the right at any point in the time, to reach this point, there is only one unique path. So we put one here. Same will be for the point here and point here, because we cannot come here, let's say, from the from this point, because the robot cannot go to the left. So here we will have one as well, same as here. But now let's think. Okay, if you want to reach this point, there are more than one unique path because we can go from here down. And we also can go from here to the right. So if we do 1 plus 1, we basically get 2. There are two unique paths to get to this place. And how many unique paths there are to get to the finish? Again, from here we can go to the bottom, or from here we can go to the right, but we can reach this point by two unique paths. So we do 2 plus 1, and basically we reach the finish. And there are three unique paths to reach the finish. This is basically a dynamic programming question. So you solve the problem by solving the sub-problems first. Which means that like, what if you just basically iterate from, from top to bottom? We have to write first of all. We create the multi-dimensional array the DP array to solve the sub problems and then and then to solve the problem. And we iterate from basically top to bottom, left to right, so we will go like that. Then again, as I just explained you, if for example the value i is equal to zero or the value j is equal to zero, which will mean that like you're either here or somewhere here, in this case there's only one unique path to get like anywhere like on this line or on this line. So only one unique path. So if i is equal to zero or j is equal to zero, if any of them is equal to zero, then the current location basically, uh, then we basically can get to the current point only having one unique path. Otherwise, otherwise if you're not somewhere here or somewhere here, Let's say, okay, we are somewhere here. We need to look like what is on the top of us and what is on the left side. Same will be if we would be here. Because we would solve, like, we would calculate the amount of unique paths for this point uh, before we will calculate the amount of unique paths for this point because we are going um, top to bottom, left to right. So if you are here, let's say, we take the value from the top, value from the left, we update the current point. If like the amount of unique paths for this point is equal to two because one plus one, then we'll, when we will reach this point because we are going like again top to bottom, left to right, then like here we will have value two plus value one, three unique paths, and then we will iterate like that, and we'll basically calculate the amount of unique paths to any point on our grid. And which will mean that like if we want to calculate the amount of unique paths to reach the finish, we can just basically in in the end return the last value from our DP from our multidimensional DP array. So return DP m minus one, then n minus one, 
simply as that, guys. Okay, let me run the code. It works. Let me submit, guys. Perfect, guys. 100%. Simply as that. I hope it was clear. Please, guys, make sure you check out my other videos. I have plenty of them. Please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed this tutorial. And, guys, I will see you in the next video.